Hello everyone. Today we're going to be showing you some basic photo editing tricks that can make your photos more attractive and colorful. For this video, I'm using the GNU image manipulation program also known as GIMP, which is a free open source cross-platform image editor available for GNU Linux, OS X, and also for Windows. As we're using some standard features, it should work fine in any other Photoshop-like software. Or in case you want to download GIMP, then please check the video description. So this is how the default UI looks. We have the Tools dock on the left hand side and the Layers dock on the right. So let's go ahead and open a picture. So you'll notice that the picture has opened as a new layer. So what I'm gonna do now is duplicating this layer so that we have a backup and also to see the difference between the original picture and the edited one. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is adding contrast. Adding contrast is very important because it darkens the shadow area and give the subject more priority. There are various ways of adding contrast we can use the brightness and contrast effect, we can use the levels effect, and we can also use the curves effect. So let's go ahead and talk about the brightness and contrast effect. So there are no rules around it. Remember the contrast will add more black to the photo and brightness will add more white. So for this photo, I'm gonna set contrast around 34 and brightness around 18 and hit ok and that's it so the photo already looks better as we can see this is the old photo and this is after adding brightness and contrast now I'm gonna show the next way I'm gonna undo the changes and talk about the levels effect right now so levels effect is almost similar, um, the left arrow is to add more black and the right arrow is to add white. So I'm going to move the left arrow to the right in order to add more black and right arrow to the left that will add more white to the photo and hit ok, that's it. So it's very simple. So let's undo the changes again. And I'm gonna move on to the next way of adding contrast. And this is my favorite option, the curves effect. Similar principle, move the curve, lower portion of the curve to add more black and upper portion of the curve to add more white. So I'm gonna move the lower portion of the curve down and the upper portion of the curve a little bit up. And that's it. You just have to form an S shape here. And believe me, you can use this setting for 95% of your photo and it will work fine. And now we'll talk about color adjustments. So the color adjustment is a part of technical retouching and the process of retouching has been around since the beginning of photography. It is used for preparing the photo for the final presentation. For this photo, we're going to enhance the color from three different areas the grassy area in front of the pigeon the bay water and the sky so let's start with the grassy area first and we'll make it look more greener so to do that we need to select the area first so we're going to grab our free hand selection tool and make a rapid selection around the grassy area After the selection is done, we're going to apply hue saturation effect. So the hue saturation effect is very beneficial for color adjustments. Using this effect, we can adjust all six primary colors individually and also by selecting master, we can change all six colors all together. So for the grassy area, I'm going to select the color yellow 
and increase the hue. So as we are increasing the hue, we can see in the background that the grass color is changing to green. Now I'm gonna add a little bit lightness and saturation. I think that's it. I think it looks good now, so I'm gonna hit OK. So the grassy part is done now. So now I'm gonna adjust the color of the water. To do that, I'm gonna use a different method. So I'm gonna create a new transparent layer to the layer dock. And grab my selection tool again and select the water. Now this time, the selection have to be very specific. You cannot select anything outside the water because we're gonna fill the water with color. So after the selection is done, I'm gonna take the fill bucket tool and select a light blue color and fill the selected part. And then I'm gonna select the layer opacity as 50% and the blend mode to overlay. We can also adjust this color as well. So apply the hue saturation effect again. As our layer only has one color, so it doesn't matter if we select master. So I'm gonna decrease the hue a little bit. And that makes a very good color for the water. I'm gonna hit OK. That's it. So if we focus on the picture now, we'll notice that we have unintentionally colored some unwanted parts. Getting rid of these would be very easy as we're dealing with layers. So to fix this, we're gonna grab the eraser tool and simply erase the color from that part. We might have to zoom in the picture and change the eraser size multiple times, but we just have to be patient with it. So now one thing left and that's the sky part and I'm gonna follow the same method creating a new layer, new transparent layer and using the free freehand selection tool I'm gonna select the sky. So after the selection is done I'm gonna grab the bucket fill tool using the same color I'm gonna fill the selected area and use the same 50% opacity and blend mode as overlay. So this time I'm gonna increase the hue that will add more red to the sky and it is always better for sky. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab the eraser tool again and erase the color from the trees and the houses. that's it so this is how it looks now so one thing we could do now is adding a filter to make it more bright and sunny so to do that I'm gonna add a new transparent layer deselect all my selection take the fill bucket tool again now I'm gonna select a color as bright yellow And fill the entire layer with that color like this time I'm gonna select around 25% opacity and 
and the blend mode as overlay. And that's it, we are done with the enhancement. Therefore, now let's compare the photos. This was the original photo, looks a bit dull. And this is the enhanced one, it looks sharp, bright and vivid. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like this video. If you have any question or need any tips regarding photo editing, then leave a comment down below. Or connect with us directly on our Facebook group. I have included the link in the video description. At last but not the least, please subscribe to our channel for more such contents. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time and until then, bye bye.